Hi, I'm Adam Perry, Senior Product Manager for AutoCAD. And I'm Rob Cohey, Technical Evangelist for Autodesk Manufacturing. Let's talk about design and documentation. We all know good design means a competitive edge. As an engineer or designer, you're pushed to innovate. And you're also pushed to design products that can be manufactured quickly and inexpensively. And we focus a lot of our attention making sure that designs will be successful. You know, we model, we analyze, and measure the product's performance under a variety of conditions. Your investment into Autodesk software helps you successfully meet those design challenges. But you know, design is only half of the equation. We also need to document our designs for manufacturing. And arriving at the finished documentation can be filled with a different set of design challenges. For example, manually fine-tuning a drawing can be prone to error. And then when the design changes, it can mean costly edits in the documentation. But what if you could enjoy truly seamless integration between Autodesk Inventor and AutoCAD? What if your documentation was intelligent? So changes you made were reflected in your AutoCAD software to develop manufacturing documentation. And what if your manual tasks were more automated, reducing some of those manual fine-tuning errors? In this presentation, we will introduce you to some of the exciting new capabilities in AutoCAD and AutoCAD Mechanical for 2012. This will give you the integrated experience you're looking for when creating manufacturing drawings. We call it model documentation. And let me tell you what I love about the new model documentation tools inside of AutoCAD. You can easily import an Autodesk Inventor model and quickly generate a variety of 2D views of that model. Add your dimensions and your annotations, and you've got a complete drawing. It's really that straightforward. Let's take a look at it in action. Here we are with AutoCAD and Inventor open on our desktop, and we're ready to begin our model documentation. So I move into the layout, and I click my base view. The software automatically knows to look for an inventor file. I go ahead and grab that file, in this case a simple part, and I'm ready to begin laying out my views. So there's my base view. I automatically move into my supplementary orthographic view creation. A side view, a top view, and I'm going to put an isometric view in the corner. Now these drawing views are intelligent. So as I move them around to decide on a new placement for them, the child views update to the correct location. I can also control the view style and the scale. Here I'm going to make the drawing views a little smaller so they fit better on the page. Now the child view here is originally tied to the parent view, but I can change that so that it is independent. I'm going to make it a little bit bigger and put it in shaded mode so it's more prominent in our layout. Now I'm ready to go to Inventor and make a design change. The files here are completely associated. Because I'm an inventor, I can take advantage of our feature-based history tree. And what I'm going to do is make a change to the bosses on either side. I want to add a little bit more material here. I think that material current thickness is not enough to support uh, the bolts that we're going to put in. So I'm going to increase the size there. The other thing I want to do is change the hole type. Now that the bosses are a little beefier, I want to change the hardware that's going to connect to those holes and bolt that part to the rest of the assembly. The first thing I'm going to do is change the head type and I'm also going to change the angle that it bolts to. Once I've made my changes I click OK and that's all the design alterations I want to make for now. I save and close my inventor model. I'm all set with my design changes. Time to go back to AutoCAD. Look at that as you would expect in an associative workflow. It knows the model has changed. I get the same red glyphs. I update my drawing view and I can see those design changes reflected. So there you have it, a connected workflow between Inventor and AutoCAD. To get started today, download the AutoCAD or AutoCAD Mechanical trial. Or you can download the Product Design Suite trial, which includes AutoCAD, AutoCAD Mechanical, as well as Autodesk Inventor. Thanks for watching.